Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky and welcome back to more Final Fantasy IV. So last time we made it to the Tower of Babel, but we did not enter this time. Let's enter. Okay. So here we are, Tower of Babel B13. That's the odd thing. When you first enter, you're gonna see what the hell we're under, like the very bottom. B13, yeah, we start at the very bottom. So, let's simply go up. Now this dungeon is fairly long. Actually, it's very long, but we visit it two different times, and every time it's fairly long, but in total, it, it is a very long dungeon. So, I'm gonna begin by heading this way to the left side of the encounter here. Oh my god, I think we're screwed. I think we died. Because we got surprised by three. These guys are insanely powerful. L look at their attack power. Oh my god, they're all gonna- if they all use Scorch, I'm pretty much dead. Ugh, god damn it. God damn it, god damn it. Freaking hell. Alright, let's get- what the hell? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm freaking- this is the very annoying thing about this. Like, you could fight these three. I'm just not gonna even try. Who cares? I don't wanna waste all my items too, so screw that. No, I'm just gonna, um... Should I run? Screw it, just kill me. Stupid surprises, man. But yeah, you can have a very- Yeah, like, I don't wanna waste all the items and junk. I'm just gonna have to freaking die and like... And plus it's a flame sword to make it even worse. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me, Cecil? Oh my god. Okay, let's, let's talk about this. This encounter is very annoying. The problem is that save points don't appear very often in here. There's like two in the entire dungeon. So you want to be careful. And you could have very terrible luck like this. You really could. You could fight three of them and you could get the surprise. That's not good. Let's retry. Okay, so here we are right here once again. And let's see if I encounter any stuff right here in the same location. Ooh, look, this time I got a lucky RNG. No encounters this soon. Huh. Alright, let's head down. Because there's a chest over here. I want it. High potion. Okay, cool. I believe we're done here in this location. Let's get out of here now. So, as long as I don't encounter three freaking flame hounds and I get surprised, I should be okay. Oh my, are you freak. Game. Let me try to run. That's all I can do. I'm not gonna try to fight this. Hell no. Okay, I got lucky that time. I should have done it last time, but the thing is, in my practice runs, I tried to escape. And, um, it wasn't working. Like, they actually killed me, so I don't know what the hell was up with that. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, if you see that encounter, just escape. You're not in any, you know, you're not powerful enough to really do it. I mean, you probably could, but like, seriously. Okay, there's one. I can handle this. Okay, you have a freaking flame sword junk. Whatever. So screw that. Just attack, attack. You can get a Blizzara because you are, yep, you're weak to Blizzard and Wata, actually. Um, there's nothing to use Shell with Rosa. I, I, I could handle this guy fairly easily, actually. That's alright. If you use a Scorch once, I can survive it. Dude, wrong character. Attack. And you can attack too. And they should go down. Yeah, see, they have a slow speed. They really do. But the thing is, when you get surprised, basically the enemies appear with full ATVs, which is why they can kill you really instantly. But even if you find three without a surprise, you should be able to handle the encounter easily. I mean, not easily, but like, it's doable, what I'm saying. Because you should be able to kill one before they get an attacking. So it's really you fighting two of them. Alright, so, um, we explore the left side, over here there's, um, that leads out, so I'm not gonna go there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore that little location, head this way, there's a chest on the bottom of this, or, wait, no, the top maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Right here, and another one of these, okay, I guess I'll just, um, keep attacking you, the same way. The thing is, I should probably unequip Cecil, what the freaking thing, like, seriously. Alright, yeah, you know what, let's go to items here, and, uh, re-equip. I'm gonna give you... The thing is, you freaking suck. I mean, you have an axe, but I hate axes. I really do. I'll give you the Myth Graven Blade. So you can actually, you know, at least hit something. Seriously. It's better than nothing. Okay, there's a Scorch. Oh, look, he's poisoned. Interesting. Go ahead and attack with your Myth Graven Blade. Okay, never mind. You, you didn't get to attack. Okay. Look at that. Level up, and you learn Berserk. Very nice. Time to get a cure, or many cures on everybody, I should say. All right, let's get a chest up here, right up here, this one, and other, whatever, who cares. Down here, got to explore, you know. All right, I'm missing one little spot. Where could it be? Oh, I see it, I see it. I definitely see it. It's on the little uh, right side location, right here, down here. Yep, I saw it. A little pixel there. Obtained five Antarctic winds. Okay, very nice. Let's get out of here to the next floor. That's B1 or B13. Sorry, not B1. B13. Oh shoot, this could actually be kind of tough. 
Alright. Let's, uh, let's get a dual cast here. Let's get a shell. And a protect. Why, why am I going up when the target also at the bottom? Seriously. Alright, I want to kill one ASAP. Everybody just freaking rush it. Actually, getting a Shiva summon would be pretty good right now. Let's get Shiva. Because... I think the other guy's also weak to ice, the freaking guy in the back, the, the lizard guy, but I don't know. Oh man, there's sirens in the background, man, seriously. Let me take a look at that. Okay, you're still question mark, so I can't really do anything. Let's go ahead and attack them. I need Shiva, come on Shiva, hurry up. Shiva. Dual cast. Asuna on... He's on Petro... Oh, okay. I'll keep this thing in, you know, whatever. Not to witness this scene once again, but in the future, I'll just start cutting them, because it takes like I mean, not cutting them, we're like skipping them, because you can skip them. Let's just watch this one more time. Shiva here, you know. Really amazing stuff. Alright. Let's get a- No, 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 not that. What, what are you doing? Okay, attack the Flame Hound. You can get a dual cast. Libra. That, and then a cure on... Sure, do that on him. Whatever. I want the Libra, so I can get the, you know, his stats up. Analyze target status, and now it's gonna take five more seconds. Freaking hell, man. Alright, get a cure. Yeah, whatever, he's good now. Let's attack. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna stone him. Or, I mean, stone cure the stone, I should say. Don't go to stone. Don't go to stone. Yes. I was gonna dual cast Asuna and Libra. Asuna on Kane, and then Libra on the enemy, but I forgot to. Oh well. Because he didn't get stoned, that means he got cured of it. Yeah, because gradual petrification does heal after battle. Alright, B12 now. Um, this one is another... Fairly linear, for the most part. Green Barret. Okay, that's a nice thing. It gives like a power improvement or something. Yeah, but I think it's kind of a downgrade in every other way, so... Nope. Ah, uh, see, so he has to be a tank. What about you? That's an improvement over the headband. Okay, I'll give it to you then. Fine. Take it. Alright, um, now let's just head down. That's the only way to go. Like I said, it was fairly linear until I get to the bottom, at least. Alright, this is going to be the last Hellhound that I keep in. At least in this type of encounter. Let's get a Blazara. And then you, no, you're not going to do anything. Kane can just attack. And Yang just use focus, whatever. And it should be enough. Oh, unless you miss, of course, Kane. Freaking Kane. Yeah, one thing I, I don't like about Kane is that in general... His accuracy is like really low for some reason, like 87% accuracy. Whereas if you compare that to somebody else, look at that 94, I didn't see Cecil. But like, he's always the um, physical attacker that has the least accuracy from all of them, so it's weird. I don't know why that is, but I guess lances apparently and spears lower your accuracy. Alright, that part's done. Let's go down now. Because there is a secret location right here. A chest is going to be beyond this door. Alright. No need to explore this. Ice Brand Enemy Ambush. Okay. These dudes right here, they're not going to do anything until you attack them one time. So what I'm going to do first is actually get a um, dual cast Libra. And then let's get a shell on everybody. Alright, now I'm going to um, get a focus with you. Now the thing is, does he counter that? I don't know. Does he counter a Libra? He might. Okay, no he didn't. He didn't. Alright, whatever. So let's see, I'm going to, um... Well, you know what, I kind of want the experience by killing the other guy, so actually I'm going to attack him right now. Just attack him. Attack! And... Alright. 1752, so yeah, there we go. He made a Hellhound. I'm going to kill this guy right now, right away. And then Cecil can just kill this guy. Or attack him, I should say, because he's really weak right now. You can just do nothing, Rosa. But yeah, um, basically, those eye guys, they will not do anything until you attack them. They will counter with a summon every time. So, what you could do is get um, Gang to use focus like twice or something and then attack. That way you can one-shot him before he even gets a turn. But, you could also make him do a summon. That way he can, you know, give you some more experience. Alright, so we got an Ice Brand there. Which is a really nice upgrade. I mean, look at that. He had the flame sword, which was used to be used to be 65, but now the ice brand, 75 plus ice, which means it's useful on the freaking flame hounds. Very nice. All right, let's get out of here. 
Now there's another secret door on the right side over here. This one. And go ahead and explore this location first. There we go, done. And okay, let's go up. All right, another chest, which is going to oh, but damn it! Oh, what the hell, new enemies! All right, um, oh god, no, you just berserk rose if you freaking oh my god, are you kidding me? You're gonna berserk everybody. That's not good. Oh, okay, or you can just be idiots and berserk the same freaking one. Okay, whatever. Evil doll, which is not a uh, Libra, and I can't do it because freaking. Should I even oh, just do it, man? Just or girl, I should say, not man. Tussle, attack. What? Oh, okay, Winter Berserk. Apparently, yes. Okay, should we go going down one more turn? Hurry up. Come on. Done, okay. Sweet. Give my experience, Rosa levels up, and she learned Kiraga. Nice, another useful spell. Let's get this. Ice Lands. That's obviously an upgrade for uh, Kane. Right, what I'm going to do here is get a focus first. And then, let's see, you know what, I'm going to get a jump, because that's also going to do some good damage, I guess. Jump, and then, I'm pretty sure with, um, I could also just get a freaking Thundara, that's the thing. Thundara and jump should be able to do it, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Now, does he counter magical attacks? I don't know, because I've never done this. Let's see. Yeah, he does. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, so Kane is going to kill the eye guy, so it's time to just get a uh, Libra on you, and then Yang. Hey, I call him Yang for once, the real way, yeah. See, I always call him Yang because, you know, it just sounds better to me. Sorry, but I'm used to the more, like, English-like pronunciations because the word Yang rhymes with, like, saying, fang, you know? So that's why Yang to me sounds better, even though they, pr they vocally pronounce it Yang, but okay, whatever. Um, why did I go to you, man? Alright, this guy. Iceland's improvement by 22. That's gonna be some very nice damage. Especially on the Hellhounds. So now we're kind of well-equipped on fighting Hellhounds. I'm calling them Hellhounds. They're Flamehounds. What is this, Summoner's War? Seriously? Alright, B12 complete. Alright. We're up to 12 minutes and I have not cut a single battle out, or have I? Kane and Cecil level up. Okay. Very nice. Let's go ahead and get cures on everybody. Alright, done. Let's go now. So that's only two floors down. We still got a lot of work to do here, though. Okay, so this place right here uh, begins with a chest right there, but let me go and explore that. Okay, a chest right here. Okay, cat claws. I see. Let's, um, let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. That, that could be a nice upgrade for Yang. Um, hell claws, cat claws. Yeah, what the hell? Main flick poison, main flick confuse. I'm gonna switch these out. There we go, cat claws. Okay. Let's see, there are two ways, and I think I went ahead... Because it's kind of a confusing map, that's the problem, it really is. I'm gonna head this way. And ready a gains level. Okay, those are some goblin captains, and I mean, I've already fought plenty of those in the last video, right outside the Tower of Babel. So I would be kind of wasting time, you know, if I were to keep showing them. Okay, there's a chest down here, very close. This one, that I explored all, yes I did. And it contains a high potion. What the hell? All that for freaking high potion? All right. Now the encounter rate has gone up, skyrocketed like crazy. I want to head down now because let's see. There are yeah, it's better to go there. All right. So I explored all of that area. Did I miss out anything on the top though? Doesn't seem like it. it should be okay. It should be good to go. Now in here there is um yeah, this room which you want to enter. Let's go. This takes us to B10, which um well we haven't explored B11 yet. Okay, Rosa learned mini now, what the hell? Okay, you know what I just realized, people? You know what I just realized? I never gave this dude his draw attacks. Like, seriously, I didn't. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Because I gave Rydia her stuff, but I forgot about this guy. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of cover here, and put draw attacks. Become the target of all enemy attacks. Basically, all normal attacks, physical attacks that target one ally. Draw attacks will work for that. Alright, anyways. Here's a chest, a killer bow, and then the second one over here, which contains an Antarctic wind, and that's that on that side. So let's get out of here, and let's simply head back through the door to the previous room, this one. Okay, so in here, well, another chest down here, let's grab it. A phoenix down, alright, sweet. 
Let, let me see. Gotta hang it. That's explored. That's explored. That door. As I was saying, that door actually leads to the next floor, but I need to explore this freaking map first. Because, you know... Yeah, by the way, this place... I believe this is a room, or a dungeon, I should say, that's unvisitable any anymore, like in the future. So, you can miss stuff. Okay, so I explored everything here. Now we can take the door to go to the next one, which would be a B10? I think it's B10. Should be. Let's go. Alright, so this takes us to, well, a little room right here. This one, to the left side. This one contains a save room, which you will see in just a bit. Now, is there a... No, no secrets in here. Okay. Let's go ahead and um, simply save here. I could, actually, I want to use a tent because um, Riddy has been out of MP for quite some time now. And yeah. I still have cottages. You know what? Just use a tent for now. I want to get rid of the tents first. Because, you know, tents are inferior, so I'll just get rid of them. I could sell them, but screw that. I have them here. Might as well use them before I begin using cottages. Okay. Let's, oh, dude, you, you need to save, man. Seriously. You have to save. Let's save on this one. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here now and head to the north. Because I explored the bottom portion. Yes, I did. And, okay, there's a new enemy here. Surprise. This is an egg. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so for these, um, I just like to wait and see. I mean, sometimes I attack them, but whatever. I like to wait and see what they have inside. It's always like a random enemy. But, I mean, I don't really know what the hell the purpose of these things is. Because... They're just like a normal enemy, they're not anything special, you know, so it's whatever. Alright, whatever, let's get out of here. Keep going up. So in here, there's only one way to go. It's pretty linear here in this part. Straight ahead. And then in here, that's where it's uh, two, actually three ways, sorry. I want to begin by heading south. Wait, did I miss a spot? No, no I didn't, okay. Right here. This first one has a uh, chest. Right here. Another freaking eye, you know, thing. I don't know what you call them, I forgot. Yeah, those things. Whatever you call them. Um, get a Thundara, sure. Do that. And then let's go ahead and get a uh, Cecil. To also attack him. Alright, what are you gonna summon? Come on. Oh, that is a Chimera. Okay, those are actually pretty powerful, not gonna lie. And they do absorb. A lot of elemental attacks. Yeah, look at that. What the hell? Alright, let's go ahead and get a Libra just to know what the hell we're doing. And just, um... Oh, shoot. Get a Shell, because it might be kind of powerful. So let's see here. I want to see your elements. Okay, you absorb the three basic types. Which means you can't really do anything. Ah, god damn it. I could get a buy, but who cares? I'm not going to waste MP then. Um, only Gain can hit him. Because Kane and Cecil both have elemental attack powered weapons. So... That's just attack. Sirens in the background yet again. Oh my god. Alright, he's down. Chimera's down. How much experience? 2406, not bad. So I just got Ice Armor, which is uh, equipment for Kane or Cecil. Yeah, have fire. Okay, I'm gonna give it to uh, Cecil. Sure, take it. Now, you can also get a um, Flame Mail, have Ice. Yeah, go ahead and take it. Alright. Let's get out of here now. And, huh. Oh, gotta go down. Dude, explore it. Explore the corner. This room here has nothing, but I'll just go ahead and quickly show you. Enter it to show uh, the map. Look at that, empty. Garbage room. Waste of a room. Okay, I explored the bottom right. Now it is time to head up, and this time on the right side, because there's an additional room here, which contains another secret. Another chest. This one. Let's take it. Ice shield, another enemy ambush. Okay, level ups there. I kind of just went through them quickly though, what the hell. Ice shield. That's going to be another upgrade for Cecil. Actually, I could get that one to you. That way you can also, um, you know, have fire. Yeah, I'll give you the ice shield. And then this guy, of course, will keep the flame shield. That way they both have one of each. Have ice, have fire. And then you have have ice, have fire. Okay. Let's get out of here now. So I'm done exploring these little rooms here. Now it's time to just keep going, progressing by going up and then left. And yeah, we'll see. Pretty simple here. And there we go. Tower of Babel B10 map is complete. Obtain five high potions. Okay, very nice. Let's go. Go to here. And it takes us to B number nine. Okay, I skipped it. Whoops. B9. So we're making some good progress now. Up here, there is... Oh, look at that. Okay. 
Steel Golem. Just attack, attack. I'm gonna get a dual cast and get a Libra on you and get a cure on you. Sure. Oh, shooting might die actually. No, not yet. Okay. Get the Libra so I can see. What is it? Weakens ice. Okay. That's why. Well, I mean, I mean, the attacks were doing a lot, you know. And it was saying weakness, literally. Okay, Yang, finish him off. There we go. He is done. So how much experience? Please be a lot. That's pretty good, yeah. 3,900. Wow. Alright, Rydia, Cecil, and Rosa all leveled up. Rosa learned Dispel. Okay, very nice. Up here there is a uh, chest, which contains an Arctic Wind. Okay. Now it is time to simply get out of here by going down. Explore everything on the way, though, as always. And, yep, everything's explored, okay. And here, I want to head up. I can't really go through here, through this door, but... Okay, so as I was saying, I want to head up here to explore, so I could go through the door also, but it's going to say you need a key. Yeah, so you can't do much. Oh well. Let's get out of here and go down to keep going. Okay, I just got some Giant's Gloves, and I believe those are actually really, really good. Um, let me see. Yeah, they are. Good attack power, less spirit though. More defense, okay, because you use uh, spirit too. I'm going to give these to, um, let's see. That's a nice improvement. Give that to you. And actually, no, 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 I'm gonna give you the power armlet and then you over here can use these. Yeah. Because you don't freaking care about spirit, so there we go. Alright. And yeah, it's those same golems that dropped the power goals, by the way. The ones that, that I just fought. The ones that are weak to ice. Well, I mean, freaking what enemy in here isn't weak to ice, seriously. High potion, alright. Let's go now. And this should be another complete, yep, Tower of Babel B9 map complete. Obtain five remedies. Alright, very nice. Let's go. This takes us to a very short room. This one. Just simply head left. Explore it. And, oh my god, the enemies. Okay. Iron back. This is going to be kind of a long video because, oh my god, it's kind of actually going pretty long here. Libra. On either, and then just get a freaking Kira on whatever. I don't care. I'm waiting for the Libra though, because I can't attack with Rydia until I... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't pay attention if they were weak to ice. God damn it. we saying weakness or not. No, it's not. Okay. Just do that. One Blizzard should be enough. Freaking... Oh, god damn it. We gotta watch this cure animation. Yeah, but uh... After we go through this door, I believe it's gonna be at the end of the part because... Um... Well, you'll see. Okay, nice experience. Sweet. Alright, let's go. Up. And this takes us to kind of the final portions of the Tower of Babel, at least this part, because we kind of skipped B8, as you can see. We didn't really explore it. That's for a very good reason. Now, I'm gonna head down here first, to the left, to the right side, sorry, not the left. Explore this. Okay, there we go. Not did I? Wait a minute. Yeah, that's good. This takes us to a save room. Okay. So I'm going to use a 10 here, save, and next time we're going to continue the Tower of Babel and basically fight the boss of this place. So, thank you for watching, goodbye everybody, and until next time.